What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are at the Knitting Factory for Tech Death Tuesday, and we are here with the headliner tonight. We are here with Beyond Creation. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's so awesome to have you here. Your newest record is Algorithm. What I'm curious is, being that it was the first record in four years since Earthborn Evolution, do you consider this like a fresh start for Beyond Creation, or was Algorithm kind of picking up where you left off? I would say it was kind of a fresh start, having a new bass player, Hugo. So we worked all our formulas to make it work right, really good. Interesting. Did Hugo bring in some different elements into Beyond Creation that the previous two records didn't really have? Well, he definitely have his own sounds, uh, his own playing, and uh, he really serves well the songs and ambiences. So yeah, he definitely uh, adding a really nice color to the sound. Yeah. I've noticed that Beyond Creation, you know, people call you technical death metal, but that style is so experimental with, you know, it's super aggressive parts, it's super melody parts. Do you guys like to experiment and try new things when making music, or do you tend to stick with a certain formula? Yeah, I think, uh, like, as artist and composer, the most uh, funny thing is to explore different kind of ambiences and different style of music and not just being stuck in the same same pattern over and over again that's how you kind of evolve with your instruments and the way you, you compose and tell stories um, so yeah I would say uh, that's definitely one of the I key for, for us at least uh, to, to get new influences and uh, new styles. Interesting. Do you ever have a preconceived idea on how you want each song to sound or what new elements you want to incorporate or do things kind of like sometimes come out of nowhere? No, well, um, the things um, gets on the, the top like it's not um, already think or already thoughts. Uh, it's just... It starts from a riff. Like yeah. You start from a riff then you try to find the best yeah I mean it takes times to to write like complete songs uh, sometimes I'm just gonna like write different different riffs and then uh, I'm kind of stuck into like a pattern and then start something completely different and in the end uh, I can like bring all the pieces together um, so that's why also it takes a long time is because uh, like I don't know, like getting the right cho choice of notes and like ambiences. chords and ambiences is is something you need to like to cool sit, off. Yeah. yeah, sit down a little bit and and take the time to listen back to it and say, oh, maybe that is uh, could be change or like the transition or uh, just that the BPM like uh, when it's just a little too fast or too slow it doesn't have like the same impact so uh with time you kind of like by listening to it you understand what you need and what riffs uh, are about is there a music theory element i was just talking with scott from fallujah about this do you follow like music theory at all like uh, if you hear a certain tone you have to know what key you're playing in what scale you're all working off of or is a lot of stuff also improvised i know you said you work off of riffs but is a lot of the stuff you come up with like is it more subconscious or do you know exactly what you're doing well we try to make the the best harmonies we can fit together so when you get a riff then you want to make it sound heavier so you use lower strings and extended range to make it sound bigger yeah it's not um, like of course uh, all of us know the theory uh, but there's so much to explore and it's a non-ending process uh, but I think um, to me personally when I compose the fun thing is to not think about it it's just like try to get out of the box and just like yeah try different things I wouldn't do normally um, so yeah it's say there's a bit of jazz theory behind it like you choose some chords and then if you have to make a solo over it then you follow these these notes these chords so yeah definitely a little bit of theory but a lot of feeling and you just let me into my next question because you follow on feeling. D when it comes to songwriting, 
you need to put yourself in a certain element or atmosphere in order for inspiration to come or kind of asked it a little bit before but do ideas come sometimes just come out of the blue it's uh i mean that's why it takes time is that you need to um really reach like putting out an ambience a certain ambience is uh something kind of hard because you want everything to match together or like the transition like um the songs are pretty they touch a little bit of everything every kind of music or style or whatever and you don't want to like just write a song th which is like one simple ambience you want to integrate many different stuff in it and yeah it definitely takes time um it's not something that you just like write two chords and it's done like uh yeah you just led me to my next question this is the hardest question for every artist to interview i want you both to answer because i always love getting this how do you know when a song is done it's long <laughs> when it's long <laughs> enough and you can hear like from the first riff to the last riff and you know like that that one is done so yeah when you feel that there's there's no empty space like not musically i would say but more the feel uh this certain feel you have at the end of the song is that there is nothing left to be saying of that song it's just like uh it feels good it feels complete i don't know it's it's a weird it's a hard answer to to get because it's just like something with the feeling and i don't know you know it's it's finished because yeah you don't feel like yeah, you need, need more, to put yeah. something more in there. Now, I've noticed that even though you guys have been labeled as technical death metal, I feel like you have played with like a variety of different style of bands. Like um, I remember uh, you played Summer Slaughter in 2015 with Arch Enemy and like uh, like Acacia Strain and Born of Osiris, like a bunch of deathcore bands on there. But then last year you did the tour with Obscura and Arch Spire, which I think is a tech death fan's dream tour. Have you... Yeah. Have you noticed like a different type of audience depending on like the styles of bands you played with or the different tour packages you've been on? Yes, I would say the heavier bands like Dying Fetus, they, they draw a lot of people to their shows and it's been definitely a real good time uh, spending a whole month with them in Europe. Every show we're packed and yeah, that, that, I feel like that's a great crowd, like the real metal crowd, like yeah. heavy. And when you're like with the tech death crowd, it's, it's like as good. it's as good. It's just it's something more new, I say, tech death than old school bands. Yeah. So, I think also the key, uh, well, one of the key when you're touring and wants your name out is to try to mix the jars, mix the jars uh, because like some people that don't listen to us might. For example, I don't know, like Periphery. It's uh, it's still like have his, it's um, like there's some elements that are close to beyond creation, but I'm sure there's different type of crowds that are going to see Periphery. And that is something where bands that want to get their names out uh, will try to tour with bands that have that are different, different yeah. than, than ours. So like, you reach different kind of fans and uh, yeah. yeah. I can see you on a tour with a band like Kill Switch Engage or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I have two more questions for you. Um, the Obscura show or last year was actually my first time seeing you live and uh, it was actually like a completely different experience than just listening to Algorithm and like, you know, really feeling uh, the music when I'm playing it through my headphones. When it comes to executing your material live, is it a completely different energy executing your material live or do you try to like, uh, get every song note for note as close oh, to the album. Try to make it like note for note so people yeah. like they really recognize the song because otherwise if it's too loud or something it'll, it, it can be confusing sometimes but we try to respect the album since we're playing it in its entirety. Oh really? Oh you're playing all of Algorithm? Yes. Yeah. 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 For the whole year we've been, we've been playing this whole album. Oh wow. 
Yeah. That's impressive. That has to be different than if you're just like playing a couple songs of Earthborn Revolution. Yeah. Different. Like you have to approach those songs maybe a little differently too, right? I would have to say, um, I I was at the show in Montreal. Uh, I think it was 2009. It was um, Dying Fetus was headlining, faceless. and the Faceless was Planetary Duality um, oh. album cycle and it was they were playing actually the, the full album live and it's been one of my favorite show because um you definitely when you start listening to an album you really get into it and you know what's coming up you know how it sounds and when when bands are playing the entire thing um you kind of get that feeling back because you're used to hear it like this, like one song after the other. So, like, uh, of course, of course, not all uh, the albums or all the bands are doing this because you need to have a concept album, have something that really like translate uh, and transcend all together. Uh, but I think it was the right timing for us to do it. Uh, I've been like dreaming for years to do a concept album and. Uh, yeah, it just feels so great to be playing it live uh, from first to last, and I think people really enjoy it. Too. It's something maybe different, and it's also a, like a one time, one time in life yeah. where we're gonna play this. Maybe the 10 year anniversary, we don't know, but uh, for now, it's like the only time people yeah. will get to see this show. So yeah, yeah that's a unique. Uh, yeah. And experience. you led me to my final question because I know that Algorithm was kind of like a concept album. And what I'm curious is, it's kind of like two questions in one, but did you think of this concept and write music according to that? Or did you need to have the concept? Uh, did like you have to have like a couple riffs and music written before the concept was written? And can this concept also be open to interpretation? Yeah, I was thinking before uh, about doing like something, for example... Um, Cynic traced in there yep. is that's amazing. One, yeah, I oh, it's yeah. my favorite uh, like progressive metal album, and I just I find it magical. Like, and you cannot just listen to one song; it's a whole thing, it's a whole universe. And I was thinking about this for a long time, and it, it finally came out. And also with the orchestra that had like a an extra dimension to our music. Now th there would there was no uh, orchestra uh, on the two previous albums so like you kind of have like those dynamics and bass and uh, intense feels or just like the old rock and roll kind of influences and it just I don't know um, just have like a whole universe attached to it and yeah, yeah. it's awesome. a lot of fun so before we go, I want to thank you both so much for your time today. Is there just anything Thanks. else you would like to promote for Beyond Creation after uh, this uh, tour, if you're allowed to say? Uh, got anything in mind? No. Well, yeah. we uh, we have a couple um, European festival for next year in summertime, uh, like Metal Days and Party Sand that are already uh, announced. Uh, and we have a couple more that will be announced soon. Uh, of course, we are in our touring cycle right now. We, we just one year ago, we came out with the new album. So uh, we want to get to places we haven't played before or uh, it's been a long time we, we played already. So uh, yeah, a lot of new shows coming up and thank you very much for following us and yeah, awesome. buying our thank stuff. You. It's the way to support artists. Of course, thank you guys. Everybody, we are here with Simon and Kevin of Beyond Creation. Algorithm out on Season of Mist. Buy it now while supplies last forever. This is Alex from Heavy New York. We'll see you next time.